do you want to mention specifically the differences between x-ray reflectivity and x-ray diffraction? It can be confusing. Uh, both are done on the same machine with a slightly different setup. And in fact, there is some overlap where you can get peaks of one and peaks of the other. So just to be clear, x-ray reflectivity is related to electron density differences at interfaces, while x-ray diffraction is related to the interplanar spacings of crystalline materials. And so in a bit more detail in reflectivity, the materials can be amorphous, which means no long range order. They can be crystalline. Um, they can be liquid even. And we can still see uh, these interference fringes just because there is a change in refractive index across interfaces. In the case of X-ray diffraction, the black lines indicate the crystalline planes of a particular large grain. We have a DHKL, which is the interplanar spacing of a set of planes in the HKL indices. And the constructive interference of those beams coming back off are what we get as a measured beam. So for that, we can be at low and high angles. We're typically measuring either phase or lattice parameter. Sometimes we can calculate crystallinity or crystallite size. Those are more along the lines of what we do with diffraction.